Okay. Beautiful day. Five thirty in the morning. Can't sleep, man. <clears throat> Too excited. Too excited. For our ramps. I know. Crazy, right? So quiet out here. Nothing's out here. I want to sleep. Except for us and the piece of wood. So, uh, decided to get some sleep. Finally. It's 8.30. So, uh, here's all the stuff that I brought. I don't even, uh, unlocked it yet. <laughs> Open it. Try and make some shelves for the room. And the ramps. So my sister got me this TV two days ago, 24 inch. There's my computer without the tower because I put this in my uh, Silka duffel bag up there. That's all I brought. That's all the stuff I own. That's my video. Yeah, that's about it. I make more shelves. Well, made this for the cat. Because we got a dog who wants to chase him, so he runs up there. Yeah, that's what I got right here. 24 inch. 720. Still pretty good. You can't tell. Up to a uh, 32 inch. Uh, you can't tell the. 1080 from 720 until you go like past the. Uh, there's the dog. <laughs> if you go uh, after uh, bigger than 32 inch. So, all right, let's go outside. All right, so round two. A little bit better. This time. <laughs> yeah, it was 43 degrees this morning. Gotta go back to sleep. Force myself to. Even though I was, I was excited, yeah, I gotta keep it down because everyone's still sleeping. So we were right here. So I guess the space is not as long as I thought. So my nephew wants to park that truck right here where these uh, things are. So we can only come up to right here. Because I have to measure the truck, see how, make, how big it is. So I want to see if I can get a 2x4. So it looks like a yeah. looks like about a two by four uh, width. Put two by four here. So what I'm gonna do is I want to uh, measure to see how long we can only go to that my red table over there. So I want to see if I can put the 2x4 here.
Yeah, so I'm gonna line that up over there, see how, how many feet we get. Yeah, I noticed a lot of, uh, I was watching a lot of uh, half pipe uh, um, building on YouTube, and uh, a lot of them have uh, only not even eight feet of flat, you know? So I wanna get a lot of flat bottoms. I, w I wish, I want at least uh, 16, maybe 20, 20 feet of flat bottom. Times eight is 24. Looks like we only got 28 feet of uh, everything, the length. I wanted 40, so we only got 28. We're 12 foot shy. Shit. So we might not even have a, a deck, you know. So the truck's gonna park there. Maybe when you move the truck, it put the deck there, but looks like uh, the truck's gonna be right here. Uh, let's see. So about it. Three, that's 24 right there. So we're gonna need, this piece right here we're gonna need for the transition. Uh, right here. It's gonna be for the, the bank ramp. And then uh, I think we're gonna start the flat bottom right here. That one's gonna go right here. And we're gonna make another one right here. Gonna have at least 16 feet of flat bottom. Well, it's gonna be tight. We're gonna be tight. All right, so uh, I'm gonna finish screwing the rest of the wood in. Um, I'm gonna show you this. Uh, I'm used to uh, countersink with the uh, with the one eighth here, and I noticed that uh, it's still kind of hard to get the, the three inch screws in the sides. So then I've been, I was using the the nine sixteen bit right here. 916 and it seems to be working uh, way 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 better so yeah we're gonna do
Alright. Uh, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to day two of the backyard ramp uh, build. So we gotta put the rest of this side on and uh, and set this uh, thing up for today. Hopefully, it works out. I think once we uh, once we uh, set this first one up, uh, it'll be good, you know. Just getting that first one set up. So, uh, do that right now. Time to sit this bad boy in. Bad boy, bad boy. gonna be doing that bad boy together that bad boy bad boy together so now I'm gonna have to uh, <clears throat> line this up line this up.
Yes, I want to line it up to the this post, this post right here, and uh, the shed there. Way off, huh? Is it way off? Yeah, it's way off. A little bit better. Gotta move it over. Up. It looks good right there. You see how wide we got? One at least twenty. That's my bow is 24, but uh, still got four feet over there by the wall. So I guess we can move it uh, over here, all the way to the end here. Okay. So that's four feet. That's 16. So that looks about right. 20, 20 wide, uh, 16, 24, 30, no, 20, 28 long, 28 long and 20 wide. So it looks like we got, okay, I just gotta. Prop this bad boy up. Yeah, there's a bunch of stones in the back. I want to put it up at least, uh, I don't know about that high, but it's too high. I think that might be, I can put that over here, I think.
I want the cat sewer. I want the cat sewer at least be able to run under there. You know? So we can do that. Yeah. Now it's looking like a ramp. I know. I don't have a level, so. Just gonna eyeball it for now. Yeah, and then we gotta wait for people to wake up so we can build the other the other one. And we could layer the thing down. Gotta put something in the middle and then a couple more. Alright, we got some uh some oops paint. Nine bucks. white paint. I didn't tap the cap in. And my table flipped over. Yeah. Yeah, half of the paint went on the ground because I didn't, I didn't tap the, the thing. So we're going to paint it and we're going to come right back after I paint it. Okay? Oh, fuck it. <clears throat> You know, a lot of these uh, ramp videos, um, it's like a one video, you know, and it's like time lapse, a lot of it. And uh, it's cool, I guess, to get ideas. But I feel like there's no, uh, it was a one, a one, you know, one, one and done, you know. So I figure, hey, do this tell a little story just uh you know what I learned from watching all those ramp videos is uh a lot of things like you know how to corner set the corner and uh see some people make mistakes where they put the ply uh, long ways the first ply and the second ply yeah and um and they never paint the, these frames. Most of them don't paint these. I guess a lot of them, I don't know. They figure, they figure since the first layer will, uh, will cover it, right? They don't need to paint it, but this has been my dream, dream ramp. So I'm gonna take, you know, Take as long as it, uh, you know, I mean, take the time, as long as it, it takes, you know, to, uh, to get it how I want it, you know? Because once you, uh, once you put this bad boy together, that's it. You know what I mean? It's, it's gonna stay. So, you know. I was lucky my nephew got the wood for me. Otherwise, uh, I don't think uh, we'd be this far in the project. Because, uh, you know, I get, uh, I get 1200 bucks from uh, disability something and some change and um, last month I paid the rent and then uh, 400 and then um, I mostly bought the tools and uh, that's not always my nephew bought me a bunch of tools he bought me a bunch of uh, cat food and I end up buying more cat food and you know so I pretty much spent last month's check and um so i'm very very thankful that you know i have this you know going this far 
with the ramp. You know? Yeah, a lot of, uh, like I said, man, a lot of ramps have a uh, very steep transition, you know? Very steep tranny. This one's gonna be mellow. It's gonna be almost like a bank. I'm thinking about a 10 foot tranny, you know? That way, uh, that way it's almost like a bank style. Not even a quarter pipe. Because we're gonna put vert on it. I'm gonna put some kind of a cement parking block on top. I saw some videos where you can make your own uh, parking blocks. So I don't know if I want to make it like a. I don't know if I want to make it like a V shape, you know, up V or a wider, a wider. Uh, um. Just this, you know, it's a uh, rectangle curve, like pretty high, you know, like maybe. So that's, I'm going way too far already ahead of myself, but I'm always thinking ahead, you know, because. Uh... So first thing right now, we're going to try to knock the, you know, knock the, uh, the thing down. The flat bottom. Can't do any cutting right now because people are asleep, so gotta wait for everybody to wake up. I still gotta finish my room, as you can see in the beginning of the my room tour. I put all my shelves up. Yeah, cause uh, the good thing is uh, everyone's day off today, so as soon as they wake up, they're gonna crank up the karaoke machine. So it'll be nice and loud in there. I could have. Uh, I could have put it together last night, but I didn't want to scare my cat, you know, my cats, because they got spooked last time when I was working inside, and they were inside. They didn't like the noise, so, um, so that's, uh, yeah, that's, so that's why I'm doing this, that way we can let it dry. I got to go back there, uh, we'll go back there, I'll show you. There's a bunch of cement that got like chipped up in the back, and we're gonna use that to uh, as much as we can to prop up this uh, thing. The reason I'm making it this high is because I want the cats, in case it gets chased by the dog, they can run under here, uh, you know, no problems, and uh, give them a, you know, like an escape route. Just like how I built that thing in, in the room with them to run up. But yeah, man. Like I said, I can't thank God enough, man. Just shh. everybody always says, you know, the dream ramp, dream ramp, and a lot of these ramps are so so uh, uh, ramp building is so short that they don't really have the the details. They don't give you the details like what screw size, what uh, drill bits, and you know what I mean. I notice a lot of people use a uh, jigsaw to cut that shit. I mean, that's what I did too before I learned how to use a, a circular saw. But the circular saw is way, way, way better. It's like a... It's kind of like using a paintbrush to draw. I mean, uh, not a uh, paint pen to draw. Versus like a uh, airbrush, you know? Like, once you know how to use an airbrush, I mean, I, I don't know how to use an airbrush, but I mean, I've I done it a couple times, but. I'm not proficient at it, but um, the whole point is, uh, it's like comparing a paint pen to a uh, airbrush, you know. Like the circular saw cuts so much smoother and faster, and uh, yeah, you don't have to, you know, push it, force it to, uh, you know what I mean, to force the the cuts. Yeah, right here, this is a uh, enjoyment for me. Wish I had more money because uh, Home Depot is only an, uh, like a mile away from here. 
and I get up, you can see we get up real early in the morning, and uh, I like to go down there and find, uh, you know, grab some hoops paint. You know, they have them randomly, so, I mean, these paint, if you buy them normal, they're like 40 bucks, you know. If you buy the ooze paint, they're like nine dollars. So, and I'm just gonna be painting shit like this, you know, just to, uh, like I said, it, you know, it's a dream ramp. And when people are building ramps, they just wanna, they just like want to ride it right away. You know what I mean? Like, to me, to me, it's like an art form. You know, it's like an art, it's like an artist, like an artist palette you know, ramp, so I want to touch up and do it as best that I can, you know. Alright, so we're going to finish this. Unless I have something else to rant later. We'll turn the camera on, but not right now. Uh, right now, I'm, I'm pretty happy of the progress that we're doing. So we'll come back later. Hey, Chia, beauty! Beauty queen on the dun 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 Let's go back here. So there's a bunch of uh, cement blocks like these back there. I have to use the dolly, so I gotta rake the rest of these leaves up and then uh, clean all this up. Yeah. So and then uh, I'm gonna take a bunch of this dirt. Put them in here in this corner right here. Buried in this corner. Piece of wood right there. Right there. Buried in there. Some wood back there we can use. Cut up to prop our stuff. This is a bunch of rocks right here. First gonna get the dirt here. We're gonna bury in that corner. Pull some of that shit out. I don't know why my brother got so many buckets. Buckethead would be stoked. It's for you, Buckethead. Yeah, so we're gonna do that. So my hand got smashed by one of the fucking rock. So I got my little haul uh, wrapper. My little, <laughs> my little fucking shit. Candy wrapper. Around there. So I have no napkin or nothing. I tried some leaves, but it's too dry and got crushed in my my skin. But anyway, right now I'm a. Uh, I'm taking a break to let my uh, my finger heal. I'm gonna paint these right here. I just painted those. We're gonna paint both sides. You know, uh, now I'm working on this. It's all about craftsmanship, you know? I mean, I remember when, uh, When skateboard used to have a, you know, graphics on the front, the top, and the bottom, and uh, that's what drawn me to uh, to buying skateboard decks, you know, like the graphics and then the top graphics, you know, how special it is, especially if you just, you know you're pro, you know what I mean? Not too many people become professional, and I see that. Uh, a lot of companies don't give you a choice to make your own graphics, which is bullshit, you know? Because skateboarding is an expression, you know what I mean? Same thing with, with building shit, same thing with music, dancing, all that's an art. You know, when you take somebody's, uh, when you take somebody's, um, characteristic or whatever, uh, you know, that they are, um, And who are they, you know? Nobody. It's just another cookie cutter, you know? But, um, I'm, uh, the reason uh, I'm telling you this is because I wanna, I'm gonna paint this <clears throat> front and, and back. Just like, not only people don't even paint their shit, they won't even paint, you know, just the front, the top. They say it's a waste, but that's why we get the oops paint, you know? We try to go get the oops paint. The way I see it is, uh, I don't know, I still feel like, you know, when I put my skateboard together, 
<clears throat> the grip tape has to be exact. It's, you know, I don't put any stickers on. Rarely, I do sometimes, but rarely. Mostly, I draw stuff on there with the paint marker. But the whole point I'm trying to tell you is, uh, this right here is like each of these plies is like a skateboard to me. You know, you know what I mean? Hand, hand paint it, and uh, each each little one puts a little detail. You know. I mean, I could get my brother and shit like that to help me paint, but then that takes away the, I don't know. I just want to make sure everything's 100%, you know, 110% from the heart. You know, not to just do it. it has to come from the heart. And this ramp is going to be 110% from the heart, you know. And however long it takes, you know, I'm going to, I'm not going to cut any corners. You know, I seen one guy who was telling me, uh, I like his video, I forgot his name. It's like an Australian guy. He did a mini ramp and he explained a lot of shit. Really good. I like it. And uh, he was saying the thing he regretted was the whole time, he was just thinking about wanting to skateboard, you know, wanting to ride the ramp. And uh, he cut some corners. <clears throat> he didn't have the right tools to do the shit, so it took him twice as long, twice as hard, you know? So yeah, so we're gonna paint this. And then we're gonna flip it over, put it on the deck over there. So as soon as this thing dries, I wanna put it here, so that my cat can, at night he can, they can, you know how they run under the cars when they get scared? So they have something to run under. I want to at least do another one of these and uh, and sheet it. You know, sheet the top. That way we have plenty of space to hide in there from the dog. All right, man, sun's going down. I cut the other piece, but didn't have time because we need to finish up the shelf inside the room. So we'll go check that out right now. So that's all we got till next time, you know? All right, so in the room, I put that ghetto shelf up. Put my clothes. <laughs> got to put some more braces. So you got that for the monitor. Got this one for the monitor. Then reinforce this table. And I uh, got this little thing for the cat. Let's show you here. It's not done yet. Put for the cat right here. Step up, step up, step up, step up, step up. Yeah, all right, man. That's it for day two. Till next time, you know. Next time, brothers and sisters. Always keep on rolling. All right, enjoy. I sell the poster up. I turn up Zelda. Mafia. So this Mafia was from, uh, it was a Del Taco, uh, I mean, uh, Carl's Jr. in California. Hamburger joint. Sitting on the table. So I snagged it. 